Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to, you guessed it, yet another 3D Code video. Now, if you're not aware by now, I'm on a, kind of a mission to get word out about 3D Code. Uh, not sponsored, by the way. Uh, I think it's an amazing software package that contains pretty much everything. Uh, unfortunately, there are not a lot of uh, beginners videos out there, right? So that's why I'm making these. Now, today we're going to be looking at the gizmo navigation tool in the bottom right corner, this guy, right? Now, when we look at this guy, we see that we have the gizmo and we have wording. And apparently we're looking at the front of our character, which is pretty obvious. But as I rotate my model around, you see that the gizmo is moving around as well. And as I do so, you see the wording change. Right view, back view, left view, there you go, right? Now, you're probably thinking, well, it's pretty obvious what the front is. Well, in the case of a character, yes, it is. But if you are working on a subcomponent of, let's say, this uh, arm piece, it might not be that obvious, all right? Okay, so how does it work? Well, first of all, it helps you to see where you're at with the wording, but of course, we have the axes here. Now, if you are uh, in the proper view, so let's say the front view right here, and it indicates that you're in the front view, you can go in here and click on uh, the, the view you want to go to. So let's say I want to look at his feet. I can go to negative Y and the letter turns white when I hover over it. So if I click on that, I'm looking at his feet. Let's say I want to look at his head. I can go up here and I can go to the regular Y back here, or I can simply click on the negative Y and then click again and it will flip over, all right? I can do the same, of course, with the X click on the X, I'll get something looking like this. If I click on it again, it will flip around. So that makes uh, modeling so much easier. In this case, we're in a painting room, but it makes painting easier, modeling easier, sculpting easier, right? And yeah, I think it's a great addition to 3D Code. I use it all the time in Maya, the so-called view cube. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. Now, if you are into 3D Code and you uh, want to support my efforts here, then do me a favor, hit that like and hit that subscribe, okay? And I will continue to make 3D Code uh, videos for those who want to see them. Okay, that's it for me. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.